Nay, nay, and Waipo. That's the name of the film. It's on Hulu. It's uh, nominated for an Academy Award for Best Documentary Short. And Hulu loved it so much that they did not provide accessibility in audio description for the blind and visually impaired. That is how much Hulu respects this film and its Oscar nomination. God damn you, Hulu. Uh, <laughs> I am fucking tired of Hulu. Anyway, uh, this is, yeah, and they have no problem putting this thing up at the top. And, and this was, when I clicked on it, I didn't have to search for shit. This was in the top banner. Nene Waipo nominated for Academy Award. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, let's do it. 16 minutes long. Go into my navigation. I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. Pretty, I'm a pretty optimistic person. I go in there. I click. I go over to, uh, to you know, audio. Go accessibility features. Go down to audio. And I see uh, there's only one track available. It's Chinese. First of all, that's not a language. As the Chinese people speak multiple languages. So we should be probably a little bit more specific when we say Chinese. I'm assuming they mean Mandarin, but um, yes, I, I know that's shocking to everybody right now. They're like, what? The, the yes, the Chinese people have more than one language that they speak. So Chinese is not really a language. Mandarin is a language. It's generally the language that when people say you're speaking Chinese, they generally mean Mandarin, but it's not the only language that people in China speak or that is unique, that is uh, in China. Anyway, that was a lesson on languages. Um, basically, I couldn't understand this film at all. It was only 16 minutes, so I sat through it. So I could say that I sat through it so I can, um, so I can, you know, properly tell Hulu to go fuck themselves really hard in this video. Uh, I've, yeah, I don't know. I've, I have no context. I don't even know what to do with this. Um, conceptually, it's a film about grandparents, love letter to grandparents, I guess. Uh, a, 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 a documentarian decided to, do, to film something about their grandparents. Kind of sounds like the eternal memory, but in like short form to me. Um, I don't know why the documentary branch went so hard for this genre this year. This, you know, this, Oh, old people together. Yay. Um, they did it in feature form and they did it in, in short form. Um, I honestly, uh, I, I saw Last Song in Kabul. Um, without any context, I would say I feel like Last Song in Kabul deserves this film's spot. Uh, just be based on what I read about the film. I, I'm sitting here and listening to it. I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know why this is here. Um, but um, maybe, it, I don't know, it gave people the feels. Uh, who knows? I got nothing there. So, yeah, lack of accessibility, lack of audio description, just total disregard um, for, you know, blind and visually impaired users with this. It's a 16-minute short that they have the exclusive rights to right now. It's not like I can go anywhere else and watch Ne Ne and Wai Po. Uh, I even got a um, uh, sponsored email uh, as a member of Film Independent for uh, reminding me that I can watch Nene and Waipo. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, I don't know, Hulu. I, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Um, I, I, I hope your whole system, whole system crumbles. I hope Disney Plus absorbs you and just destroys you. And like... Uh, it's one of those weird mergers where, like, it's a merger, but, like, nobody from Hulu remains. Uh, there's just, there's a whole lot of, like, people who are in the same job, and whoever works for Disney Plus ends up winning that battle. Uh, I have just so little respect for Hulu and, and what they do. So, um, thank you for releasing a film to the public with no alternative audio, audio tracks for uh, anybody ever. <sighs> so, as as you might expect, I have nothing really to talk about here because I watched a film in a language I don't speak for 16 minutes. But I did watch it so I could comment on it and its lack of accessibility and how that made me feel. It made me feel like shit. So thank you. Um, 
I guess I can technically say I've seen this. So now I've seen three of the documentary shorts because I did sit here for 16 minutes while this film played and people spoke in Mandarin. Uh, I'm just going to assume it's Mandarin, by the way, because again, it's the, it's the more spoken of the two languages. Um, so yes, or the more, the more spoken, more prominent language in uh, China. So yeah, there we go. That's my thoughts on Nene and Waipo. Um, not that I don't believe in foreign language films. I actually would love for foreign language films to have audio description as I would love to have my uh, horizons, you know, expanded upon. The Eternal Memory has audio description on Paramount+. Plus. It is not an English language. It's really not that hard. You can do this, Hulu. I don't believe in you. I'm just telling you you can do this. I'm going to give Nene a wipe the great of unwatchable, because it is, unless you can speak Mandarin. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please click subscribe so I can continue to call out the lack of audio description on films like this, and also um, website macmovieguy.com. You can follow me on X or Instagram at macmovieguy. You can go to the audio description project adp.acb.org. It'll let you know who has, what has an area audio description and where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. It'll let you know who's narrating your favorite films and television series. That's it for me today. I will watch something else and see you guys on the other side.